Hey guys, it's Will from LearnRater, and in this edition of AP Micro Mondays, I'm gonna walk you through price ceilings and what to expect if you should be asked this sort of question on the AP Micro exam. So let's think about this. In this situation, we are faced with a price ceiling, and what that means is that this is a government-imposed price control. In other words, the government is setting a price of how high producers can set the price of a certain good in order to protect consumers. So let's first look at the scenario that we are faced with, which would be your standard axes, and you might have a demand curve and then a standard supply curve. And in this situation at equilibrium, we would see that supply intersects demand right here. So this is P naught and this is Q naught. And what we also know is that a price ceiling in order to be effective has to be lower than the equilibrium price because essentially what the government is saying is we need to protect consumers so we need to make it so that we have a ceiling on how much producers can charge consumers and therefore we want to set a price that's lower than equilibrium so that consumers can reap the benefits of a lower price point. So let's go ahead and draw this ceiling. So this would be the ceiling. And so what we see here is that there's a change in the overall equilibrium because if you look at where the supply now intersects the demand as well as the um, original points of the supply and demand curve, we can see that the overall quantity supplied and the quantity demanded with the ceiling intact is much different. So when you approach these questions, what you want to think about is you want to first draw your ceiling and then you want to look at where your supply intersects your ceiling and then where your demand intersects your ceiling. So in this case your supply intersects your ceiling at this point right here and then we intersect our demand at that point right there. And therefore going downwards we see that this because this is where the ceiling intersects supply is QS and this is where demand intersects the ceiling and therefore that's QD. So in this case as we can see the quantity demanded by consumers is greater than the quantity supplied by producers. And this intuitively makes sense because the price ceiling is a price control that's aimed to protect consumers and therefore consumers are going to demand more of this since the overall price that they're paying is lower than the original equilibrium price. We've gone down. And therefore we can think about the overall influence of this and, and see the producer surplus, the consumer surplus, as well as the deadweight loss. So let's look at that. So what we know is that if we trace this line up to this point right here, this trapezoidal region is going to denote the consumer surplus from this deal because the consumer surplus is all the extra benefit that they get from the price being this low. So this is your consumer surplus. So this is your consumer surplus. And then if you look at the producer surplus, what's happening is the producer surplus has gone down as a result of this price ceiling because originally the producer surplus was this large right triangle here from P0 to Q0 to the axis of zero. Um, but now we see that the producer surplus has reduced to P1, QS, and then that original zero at the axis. So this is your new producer surplus. And then we see that there is a deadweight loss. And so the deadweight loss is denoted by this region. And this is essentially the region that nobody gets now as a result of this price ceiling. So there are some overall societal inefficiencies that occur as a result of implementing the ceiling. So what is important from this graph? Well, the important thing and the key takeaway to draw from this is that price ceilings are consumer protection um, efforts by the government in which they dictate how high of a price producers can charge consumers. And therefore, in this consumer protecting behavior, the consumer surplus is going to be greater than the producer surplus as a result of this change. So that's pretty much what you need to know. In this situation, the quantity demand is going to be greater than the quantity supplied and so this is also known as excess demand. So we have excess demand 
And that makes sense because the price ceiling is leading to a situation of excess demand since the producers are now forced to set a price below what they would have liked to have set at equilibrium. So that pretty much covers it for this video. Feel free to check out our channel for other AP Micro practice and help questions. Uh, but for this video, that's it. I will see you guys next time.